Good morning. Welcome to another episode of Rondelli 55's Old School Music Review Podcast. This morning it's about the jazz greats and I'll feature Mr. Paul Chambers. He was born Paul Lawrence Dunbar Chambers Jr. on April 22, 1935 and died January 4, 1969. He was a jazz double bassist and was an influential and in-demand musician that helped to cement the standing bass as a solid accompaniment to the jazz drummer. And his technique was highly regarded. He had a really short tenor, but he really, really made a huge impact on the genre of jazz. He died from tuberculosis at the age of 33 years old in 1969. Uh, You can listen to the songs, So What with Miles Davis, Dear Ann, Dear Old Stockholm, and Paul Chambers, Green, Dolphin Street, Great Board Bass Solo, that's uh, that's how it's listed, but it's a solo on that piece that's really nice. And uh, Whims of Chambers. He originated in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania in the U.S., known for the genres jazz, modal jazz, bebop, and also hard bop. And he was active from 1954 to the year of his death, 1969 working for the labels Blue Note Records, that's Blue Note Records, sorry, Prestige Records, Verve Records, and Riverside Records. And he was associated with Miles Davis, Quintet, John Coltrane, Cannonball Hadley, Kenny Burrell, Red Garland, Lee Morgan, Sonny Clark, Benny Golson, and the list goes on and on. Wes Montgomery really did a lot of work in the... Even Thelonious Monk had some pieces with him. So until next time, hope you have a great day. Remember, God loves you. Jesus is the only way. <laughs>